Okay, so this is the second video with some suggestions on how to improve the appearance of sonograms and also to amplify sounds with an additional tip on cutting out unnecessary or unwanted noise. So what I've done is I've preloaded pre that common sandpiper from the first video. I'm going to drag, drag down here. It's just visible there. Obviously, if you zoom in, then the sonogram starts to take a bit of form, and that's fairly characteristic. But there's lots of noise, grey noise, that is just making it really difficult to see that. So here's the first tip. Just highlight an area, a few seconds of grey noise where there's no sound at all. And using the effect noise reduction get noise profile tool, and it's, it's acquired that. And what you want to do now is apply that across the whole selection. So you do that using your keyboard, control A, and then you apply the uh, filter, noise reduction, OK. And you'll immediately see that by reducing the background noise, the sonogram already looks uh, a lot cleaner. Second tip is this is one of those clicks that we mentioned yesterday, you know, the clicks and pops that you get quite a lot in overnight recording. So this isn't a particularly bad one, but let's say it was, maybe it was even right in the middle there. Then what you can do is just zoom in to make sure you capture the right bit. You can just highlight it and drag, and then using the scissor tool, cut it, and it then just sews those selections together. You won't hear that. So that's got rid of that unwanted noise. Now, the problem remaining is hearing the call. So if you play that call just through the speakers, and you should be able to pick this up on Zoom, just about audible, it's not very strong. If you put a bit of gain in for the purpose of listening to it, that's a little bit better. But to, to, to improve the um, volume, so you can share it easier with others, and particularly for a mystery call, and then here's the suggestion to just highlight the area where the call occurs. This time, you're going to run a different effect, and that is uh, what's called amplify. And without going too high and distorting the sound, just apply something like a 15 decibel uh, amplification. You can play around with this to make sure it works for you. But if you do that across the selection, then it should sound a lot stronger already. And it does. Problem now, you've reintroduced more gray noise again. So the next thing you can do is apply um, that noise reduction again. So the way I do this is uh, I, I extract the selection that you've just improved in terms of sound and export it as a selected audio. And I'm going to give it a different name. Um, comms uh, for common sound uh, edit. Or edited, I'm going to call it. And just save that in the folder. I'm going to close this down now. There might be a cleverer way of doing this, but I, I don't know what it is. So uh, just, just bear with me, please. So I'm going to screen say share again and what i've got now is this which is the edited wave file or wav file and there we have the selection again it looks a bit dark so you're going to apply the same 
tool again as we did before which is the noise reduction to this area so you, you select a bit of gray where you know there's no call you use the effect and it's noise reduction get the noise profile from there and then apply it using control a across the whole selection and then when you reapply it then there we are it's a lot brighter already and you can play around with this to your heart's content uh, and now you've got really usable sonograms particularly for calls where you want to be looking at the signature as to whether that can help you with species species identification so hopefully again that's helped and we'll leave it there for now if i, if I think of anything useful to do in future videos then i will do that cheers <laughs>